Interesting. So, 205 is a new route, so we can get a new encounter here. Uh, can't get through there yet. These guys have a boatload of magic ups and stuff. Um, I don't think honey trees are optimal because they're only, like, primarily it's like bug type Pokemon or stuff. So. Alakazam, but you have to roll one to five to sacrifice someone in its place. Oh! Couldn't end up with a male combi. Exactly. Oh, this guy just pushed me. Hello. They took this kid's Pokemon? No, no, no. Were you able to rename Bidoof? Oh, I can rename Bidoof now. Right. We need a name for Bidoof. What was it going to be? Did someone... Hmm. <gasps> Friendship Checker. Aha. Okay. We have the Friendship Checker. Which is going to be useful... I think it's this one. It's this one, right? It, is this is this how this works? Am I doing this right? I'm pretty sure they show love hearts if they uh, are friends with you. I think that's how it works. Oh, Big Jimmy, that was it. Yes, he was going to be called Big Jimmy. Right, let's go and find the name rater and name Big Jimmy. Uh, let's just do this for now. Is this the underground house? Two hearts is full. Okay, cool. Uh, pretty sure name rate is just in one of these. Is it this one? Yes. Okay. Okay. Hello. Oh, I didn't even... Oh, see? There's so many quality of life changes. This is great. Though, to be fair, that might have been a thing in the original. I can't remember. If they don't like you, they run away from your hand. Right, okay. So we can now officially use this Bidoof. No, I don't want to... Why do I want that many spaces? I don't want that many spaces. Big Jimmy. Ready for little Jimmy when we get the crow gunk, right? So the name's better than before. So this guy has a Chatot and wants a Buizel. We can catch Chatots later on in the game. And I don't think Chatot is actually that great. So I think I'd keep a Buizel. So I think the team that I will use going in, ah, oh, it might even be, it probably is this actually, yeah, uh, probably is this team here. This will be my Gardenia team. So we can do the Union Room stuff now, but I'm not going to. Um, I do want to check out the Underground, but I want to speak to basically all the other people around here first. This guy doesn't believe Team Galactic are bad. Classic. Uh, this is the bike shop. You can grab a bike here. Can you record your voice from ch for Chatter? They remove the feature from Gen 6 onwards. Probably not then, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so this guy is currently trapped in Team Galactic's place.
I wish one day they would make a Pokemon game where the cities were uh, actually as big as cities, so you could see like houses and stuff. TMs for recycle. Cough Cough Legends Arceus. Maybe. Maybe. Yay, we can finally use Bidoof. We sure won't, but we can. Remember that one street in black and white? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, Gen 4 is just so good. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Gen 4 is just amazing. Castelia City, yeah, exactly. So this is where Oak is in the old games. Looks like he might be in here. This might be Bebe now, though. I know Bebe's in this city. Master of Vivid Plant Pokemon. I didn't mean to go in here. Okay, so Joe has, has already been in here. All the gym trainers who've hidden themselves. It's a bit challenging, but just think of a good trainer and go for it. Okay, so we have to follow the trainers anyway. Interesting that they changed the clock. I liked the clock. Baby is in heart home, isn't she? I thought she was, but then I thought I read in her stuff earlier on she said she was in a Turner. I could be wrong though, maybe she's still in heart home. She appears a lot earlier in this game than usual. Right. Come on, Bay. There she is. Is that a Pokedex? She must be a Professor Rowan. What's your name? Be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Atena City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter it something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using these, they should help you on your way. Oh, you got some TMs? What's 93? Cut the hidden move out. Oh, okay, it's gonna be cut, right? Wonderful. So once we've got the second gym badge, we can use cut. This guy sell. Uh, this woman sells herbs, I think. They're horribly bitter and smelly. The champion is like if you cut. She's trying to make you learn bad HM so she can beat you later. Hold it. So we do have another encounter. We have two encounters actually we can do right now. Team Galactic's in conducting an official investigation. So yeah, we have an encounter over here on 2.11 and we have an encounter over at 2.5. Alrighty, there it is. Dyer, once created, brought time into being. There he is. How you doing, James? In laughter or in tears, the same time flows, such as the blessings of Dyer. Text is barely legible and has faded completely in places. They improved the statue, they certainly did. 
And I'm really hoping they left the Draco plate there. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. Alrighty, so, <clears throat> two things we need to do. First is beat these trainers over here. Right, let's see what this guy's saying first. Ha, he's gonna try and rob me. What do you have to say? Okay, uh... Oh, this is another thing I wanted to check. Uh, so we have an encounter here. We could get a water type or we could get uh, something in the grass. I think I want to get something in the grass. So let's see what our encounter for 205 is. Yes, I was going to say, hopefully it's a Buizel. I like Buizel. Call a weasel, a male weasel. Yes. The Sea Weasel. Oxnard. Name him Counter Shield. That's what it uses in the anime. And the air fills the flotation sack at its neck. The sap balloons like an inner tube. The Pokemon floats with its head out of the water. Oxnard. Is that what we're going with? Why Oxnard? Oh, you absolute weasel. Could call him Weasley. Could call him Ron Weasley. Oh, I didn't mean to run into you. Another Weasel. Sorry, characters, chunky hand. <laughs> Crunch. Right, I want to go and heal, please. Thank you. <coughs> Oh, I shouldn't have. <laughs> I thought I was being clever. That's only a bit of. So it should be fine to chew through this guy. Crunch. It has rollout? <laughs> Run. Get out of there. So the only way anything will change is if we get a Ponyta over on the left hand side. If we get a Ponyta, I'll probably stop training Zubat. Is Zubat the one that goes? I'm not sure. Zubat is probably the one that goes.
I can say I knew there was an item around here somewhere. Meditite is our catch. Okay. Crobat is an absolute unit though. Uh, I do not want to stay in against this thing. Yeah, this should be fine. Now we can have a Machoke and a, uh, what do you call it? Now we can have a Machoke and a Alakazam all in one, right? Oh, I meant to go by Great Lord. That did a lot. Even if you had a Dusk Stone, I'd rather have a Honch Crow. I think it's unlikely I'll keep all three of those. Uh, all three of the flying types on my team particularly permanently. I think they'll only be until gyms, like, after Me uh, after Maylene. Because Maylene, and up until Maylene, they're all going to be useful, right? After Maylene, though, uh, we'll probably trim off two of them. I think one of them will probably be Staravia, because it has worse typing than the other two. I think I, if I can, I think I'll probably keep Crobat, to be honest. Right, we need a nickname for this Meditite. Uh, what's the what's the attack on the Medicham vehicle? Yoga something. Yoga loop. Baby boob legs. Yeah, yoga loop. Could call it yoga loop. Oh, I didn't nickname it. Oh. It's because that's usually backspace. I'm going to go and nickname this meta type. I'm going to call it yoga loop, I think. Call it overhyped card. Oh, I don't need to get it into my party, what am I doing? Oh, we can also do the underground stuff. I don't think I'm going to do the underground stuff until after I've uh, been in the gym, though. I don't know how much underground stuff I'm going to do. I don't know how entertaining it will be. Maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Yoga loop. Okay, I think I'd rather Kadabra than the Meditite. So, we're still pretty happy with this team. Excuse me. Oh, that hurt. Uh, so yeah, there's a couple of trainers over here. Oh, Tord's back. Hi, Tord. Uh, I know this guy up here has. I'm pretty sure this guy up here has rock types rather than fighting types. Missed me? Of course, buddy. Of course. My stomach hasn't, but. See how Mount Coronet towers above us? I want to be big like that one day. Like a Louie. Oh, 
Oh yes, bubble beam. That's an upgrade. Bubble beam. you love to see it. Got a bird keeper down there as well. Oh, I don't have notifications off. That's a that's a follow from someone, I'm pretty sure. Bananaman999, thanks so much for the follow. My activity feed is just people love <laughs> redeeming hydrate. <laughs> At least you guys are making sure I'm healthy. So I'm pretty sure there used to be a TM down here. Oh, and the posture check as well. I need to up the prices of some of these. Bird Keeper. Staravia, I'm gonna say. Ooh, a hoot hoot. Interesting. Where did its other leg go? Zalimas with the sub. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Level 19. Poison it. Nice. Hoo is huge. It has confusion. No, 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 no. Let's... Okay, that didn't actually do too much, but that was scary. Uh, let's, let's not mess with this thing in the slightest. Let's just... Let's just make sure we are safe. <laughs> Oh, these games would have come out. Hmm. So, me and Joe obviously did that Fire Red Nuzlocke a little while ago, and our intention was to go through every gen. And I think these games would have come out at a perfect time for us to be able to Nuzlocke these games, as like as this being our Gen Four uh, pick. We'll still do that one day. We did uh, we did Fire Red, and it was fun. Unfortunately. The videos weren't greatly received on the channel, but I think we'd still do them again. Like, I'm still going to upload this series on the channel. It would just be less frequent. Um, oh, sorry, not less frequent. It would just be a shorter burst of time. It would be spread over as many week or as many weeks as the old Nuzlocke's were. Yeah, I thought you got a TF down here. Can you go into Mount Coronet yet? So we can't even get a catch here. Should we do that? Pretty sure it's guaranteed to be either Chingling or Bronzor. There's a Chingling right here. When did we do Nuzlocke? We did a Nuzlocke like three or four years ago now. We started a Heart Gold Soul. Well, we started recording a Heart Gold Soul Silver Nuzlocke um, about a year and a half ago, but never finished it. That was a good Nuzlocke. The videos took a lot of time for me to edit, and they weren't particularly popular, so we kind of held back on them. It's really weird because that was a decision we made, but then whenever we do a, um. Whenever we do like a QA, and a people are like, oh, where's the VG content? How can you say you bring us everything Pokemon when there's no VG content? But then no one watches the VG content, so I don't really know what people want. But, you know. I've always, always, always wanted to stream run uh, playthroughs of games. So, yeah. I need to turn my heater off. I'm getting really, really warm. Mm. 
people in Q and A's are generally bigger fans. Yeah, perhaps. Should we get a Mount Coronet catch? I think we should. Actually, nah, let's not. We can't go anywhere in Mount Coronet anyway, so there's not much point in it. Fisher, Fisher Zachary. Have you ever worked in customer service? I mean, half of my job now is customer service. Right. So, Swolve. But not to any great lengths. There's loads of stuff I'd love to do with the channel, it's just stuff that I don't know whether I will do. Lots of projects I'd like to try and stuff. Goldie. Now Zotra are a lot more interesting to watch live on Twitch than editing video. Yeah, to be fair, I can't let you drink water on YouTube. To be fair, yeah, we, we did those Nuzlocks, well, we were, we did the Nuzlocks when we were streaming, but we didn't stream the Nuzlocks, so I, see, I can see why they are more entertaining to watch, like, live. Hey, eh? Nice. I mean, maybe I'll just start, like, I really... I love playing Pokemon, the TCG, but I struggle streaming it because I don't like playing it for, like, prolonged periods of time that much, so I really struggle streaming it. Um, but this, like, playing more VG, or playing more video game playthroughs, might get me back into streaming, like, multiple times a week, potentially. I know when live comes out, Joe wants us to become five days a week, like, guaranteed TCG. Wasn't the first part of the run a full VOD? I don't see any edits. Of this run or of the um, Fire Leaf Green? Fire Leaf Green we would basically record in like three hour sessions. Uh, this one, yeah, so the first part of t the, the part that went up today, the hour long part that went up today, was the first hour of yesterday's stream. There was nothing like special fancy edited with it. It was just the first hour, like a, a natural good breaking point. So like today's will probably today the these episodes today, one will be going up to Eterna, one will be like Eterna Forest and all of the stuff that we're doing now, and then one will probably be the gym and the um, like heading underground and stuff like that maybe. I don't know, it's just kind of natural natural stopping points um, that are around that, like any time after like 40 minutes odd. And I'll try and stream for like three hours. But yeah, maybe I'll just, maybe, like maybe this is something that I'll do more often. People definitely be looking for live streams to watch when live comes out. Yeah, and I think I will want to play a lot more when live comes out, to be honest. I think I'll have more enthusiasm to stream because I'll also want to play more. I barely ever play Pizza Joe right now. I discuss Pizza Joe a lot, but I barely play it. Um, but I think when live comes out, that could change. Like I play more Hearthstone than Pizza Joe, and I don't have any intention of ever taking that game seriously. In terms of you know, competing. I've thought about it in the past, but I also am not good enough at it. Which would change if I tried, but like, 
at that point I'd probably have to give up playing Pokemon, right? And I have a lot more friends in Pokemon than I do in Hearthstone, so... I'd make friends in Hearthstone, but you know, everyone I know plays Pokemon, so... Though, like this year, I'm gonna go to regionals and stuff just because the events will be back, but arguably, like, League Cups and stuff, there's less reason for me to play them. So because of that, like, I could instead go to Hearthstone events or whatever. I don't know. I think Hearthstone's not gonna be everything, any, anything I ever take particularly seriously, though. But yeah, that, like, that shows how little Pokemon I play at times. I'll play a game I don't consider. I'll ever go into competitively more than the game I play competitively online. When it comes to events, I test a lot. But because there's no events right now, not much to turn. Not much to test for. Whoops, I used Astonish. Boing, boing, boing. I don't know. That was a long-winded way of saying maybe I'll stream Pokemon content more. V uh, video game content more. Or other games. Now I now like now I can stream Fire Capture Card. There's actually a lot of Switch games I want to play. Or I would like to stream. Pikmin is a game that I absolutely adore playing, that I'd love to watch, that I'd love to play on stream. Pikmin is just incredible. Same with Breath of the Wild. I've never played that game to completion. I think they should care. Um, and would love to do that live with you peoples. I don't know. This capture card opens doors, put it that way. How much PP do I have? Eight. Okay. Landed myself a feisty trainer. I'm getting Metroid Dread for Christmas. I think I might end up streaming that. I'm not sure, but that's a game I'm really looking forward to playing. I hadn't played a Metroid game until about a month and a half ago, and I played about two hours of Super Metroid and then asked my girlfriend for <laughs> Metroid Dread for Christmas because I just loved it. <laughs> Apparently it's quite hard, but I've also played Hollow Knight. I also played through Hollow Knight, uh, this week, well not this week, this month, I guess. November, yeah, this month. And, oh. Uh, and that game is also incredible. Alrighty, let's go deal with some, well, let's go head to the gym, I guess. We'll do the trainers in the gym, and then we'll see whether we need any more training at all pre Gardenia. I'm assuming these like trainers will appear in these places, but I probably have to fight them in a specific order, right? These trees look sus. Anyone behind here? No. So Gardini is going to be there. 
Why did they get rid of the clock? Oh, there's someone there. I see you. Let's have our battle. SOTN is the O2 Metroidvania and the best. Yeah, I, I have since found out quite recently that Metroidvanias are games that I seemingly enjoy quite a lot. Which is cool. I love finding new games. Poison. The sunlight turned harsh. Roselia. Okay, so these, the Roselias and stuff, these are going to be the ones that uh, I want what do you call it's against? Flying types against, right? What level is this? Level 15. Do we think Trilby could take it? We can switch into a fair few other Pokemon if it takes a hit and it gets a bit ropey. I'd rather Trilby get the bonus XP then, than Star Raven. We are getting Stun Sword though, which is frustrating. Seed it, you'll love to see that. And paralyzed, you'll love to see that. I think I can try once more. Mega Drain as well. Spicy. <laughs> Very spicy. Quick guard. Protects from priority. I don't think so. I was going to beat you while you were still in a state of shock. Next trainer is past the two boulders. Boulder, two boulder. There you are. My grass type Pokemon can dole out some serious special attacks. I won't let you win easily. <clears throat> Alrighty. Alrighty, Aroma Lady Jenna. Another. But see, this is like again, this is where Zubat like, isn't the best. Because this is only going to do neutral damage. And can't badly poison, right? So the thing is, like, they can't do anything to Zubats realistically. This is where Kadabra is great, though. Yeah. Should we switch into Kadabra? See if Kadabra can handle this. <laughs> Go Kaza. Look at the size of its tail. Pretended not to notice. This Kadabra might not be the the best choice. <laughs> Luckily, it has decent special defense, so that's going to do nothing. Why is it doing nothing? I thought Pokemon obeyed you up to like level 30 after the first gym. It does have Synchro, which is good. I 
This cadaver is really frustrating me. I thought this was like a, a chance to use the move, or does it just never use the move? Right. Come on then. Goodness sake. <laughs> So that cadaver might not be as useful as I thought, considering it didn't listen to a thing I said. Maybe you level 10. Oh, I thought it was level 20. Weird that this is a pecking animation considering its wing attack. Though it looks like the Mercury has no wings in its current state. Oh, these budgies are so poo for XP. Alrighty. More beautiful the flower, the faster it withers. That's right, a hint about the next trainer. In the middle of the three trees, that's my hint. Good luck. Does poison not take effect outside of battle in this game? Apparently not. Busted. Let's go heal. <laughs> So am I just putting this Kadabra away? Because the Kadabra turns out to be a massive bait until after we've actually beaten Gardenia. Which is a shame. It'll be good after Gardenia. Yeah, exactly. After Gardenia, like... After Gardenia, it never it's never really an issue, but Man, I liked the clock. Even when you try to conceal it, you can't hide the aroma of flowers. Don't be a Roselia. Ah, oh, it's a Turtwig. Okay, we can beat a Turtwig. A lot of damage. Stays, stays at 30 until after wake. Oh wow. Maybe in the, I guess in this game it's every other gem. Uh, every other gym. 30, 50, 70, 100. Yeah. Maybe it's every other gym in this game. Interesting. Side four flowers. It's okay. I think I think we can do it with our team of burbs. I don't think we need like I say, I think I think Kadabra would have only been I would have only used Kadabra in a situation where we'd lost a Pokemon anyway, and we can and we can kind of do that with some of the other uh, flying types because they're all pretty speedy. So it's it's not too much of an issue. Beauty Lindsay. Seeded, I'll switch. 
Still good for Maylene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely will be good for Maylene. Maylene's highest level is thirty. Uh, it's thirty as well, actually. So it, it like it works out. It's a good. It's a good level. Uh, after this gym, because that will be the max level we can get to anyway. Which is good. I did read somewhere that Maylene and Crash Awake have both have level thirties. So that's going to be a bit of an awkward one. Um, because obviously getting from Veilstone to Pastoria without getting any levels or using any trainers or having any battles is going to be difficult. So I don't know whether it's like we might, I might have to break the rules a little bit. I might have to face any like guaranteed trainers but maybe I'll have to do Crash Awake as early as possible if that is the case for levels and then go back and do the trainers afterwards. I'm not sure how I'll handle that bit yet. Oh, boo. Looks like you've beaten me. Okay, I think that was the last trainer before Gardenia. Yeah, there she is. <clears throat> so I'm going to go and heal. I am going to go and do a little bit of training, I think, in the forest, just to at least get to level 20 on uh, Murkrow. And then we will bundle in at level 20, I think. My only issue with Gen 4 is how the level curve is a bit off. It, it's weird because it feels like there's not much to... Well, there's not not much to do, but there's a lot to do before Veilstone. And then Veilstone, Pastoria, and... Um, Veilstone, Pastoria, Heart Home, and then Canlave all happen really quickly. And then there's not much to do again because you do the whole Celestic Town and then go up the uh, place to Sunny Shore. It's weird. Uh, what am I doing in here? This is not what, where I want to be. I want to be healing. I think I did heal, but I'll heal again just in case. Um, so yeah, the, the the gym curve is a bit off. It works normally because you're not playing in a Nuzlocke setting and there's like other boss battles to do, i.e. a lot of Galactic and stuff to do. So it's not like there's not stuff to do, but it's just really weird that uh, like after, after Veilstone, you have no Galactic stuff to do until after Canlave, right? Unless I'm like outside of just like regular grunts and stuff. I could be wrong with that, but I'm pretty sure you don't. Uh, right, okay. Let's just do a very, very small amount of training on Trilby. Uh, I'm actually going to go and do it over here because there are Chinglings and Meditites over here. Uh, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. And they will give more XP than bugs. So yeah, it makes the level curve for doing exactly things like hardcore nuzlocks where you can't level above the uh, gym. It does make things a bit weird, but uh, yeah, they're still amazing games and all. I refuse to hear anything otherwise. <laughs> Pretty much no Galactus up between Turner and Canlavia. Yeah, it's weird. Like, there is stuff in those cities, there is a, a stuff in um, a couple of cities here and there, but like I say, I'm pretty sure the next the next boss we fight isn't until... Uh, I can't remember where we fight Saturn, actually. Well, Jupiter's after this, and then I can't, I can't remember where we fight Saturn for the first time. I know Jupiter's in here, though. Saturn might be Canlave. I can't remember. How do you rank the different gens? Great question. I'm not getting anything to 23, am I? No, nothing close. Um, so, Gen 4 is my favourite. Gen 7 is probably my least favourite. Or Gen 6. Mm, okay, so yeah. Gen 4 is definitely my favourite. After playing through Gen 5 again recently, I think that's up there. After playing through Gen 3 again recently, that's up there. There's a trainer here. Hello. Um, 
So yeah, Gen 4 is at the top. Gen 1, 2, 3, and 5 all kind of muddle into after that. I think... I like Gen 2 for the, the post-game. I like Gen 1 for... The, like the 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 map and like the story and stuff I think hmm, it's really tough but I don't know whether I'm ju I just like heart gods or silver or whether I like gen 2 if that makes sense because I really like heart gods or silver but in my mind, they're kind of Gen 4 games because they were with the Gen 4 graphics because I really like the Gen 4 and Gen 5 graphics. So... Okay, Gen 4, Gen 4 is my favourite. I think Gen 5's story is amazing and graphics are amazing. I think the Pokemon are my least favourite out of the other gens that I've mentioned, like 1, 2, and 3. But there are still some really cool Pokemon. So I'd probably put that like second or third. Uh, I think Gen 3 has my favourite Pokemon outside of Gen 4. The story is okay, the region is okay. So I'd put that kind of on par. And So yeah, I think I'd go Gen, Gen 4. Gen 5 and 3, like 2nd and 3rd, kind of interchangeably. Gen 1 and 2, interchangeably 4th and 5th. Gen 8 is 6th, because I think Gen 8 is better than Gen 6 is 7. And then... Probably Gen 7, Gen 6. I think Gen 6 actually probably is my least favourite gen. Those games felt really, really bland. There wasn't much going for them. So yeah, I think Gen 6 is my least favourite. I've only played through both of those games. I've only played through Y once. I've only played through Auras once. I've only played through Sun once. I've never played Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So that might mean my opinion is kind of biased, but I don't know. Interesting answer. Uh, I've played through Black and White twice and Black 2 once. I've played through Gen... Well, I've played through... I don't think I've played through Ruby and Sapphire, but I've played through Emerald about ten times. I've played through Kanto outside of Fire Red once. No, I've never played through the original Red and Blue, but I've played Fire Red hundreds of times. I've played through Heart God, Soul, Silver hundreds of times and Crystal once. That's all of them, right? The four I like and the two I don't like are all very interchangeable, though. Like, I really like the four I like, and I really don't like the two I don't like. So, well, I don't, I don't really don't like them, but I'm like, I'm just not that fussed. Yellow is definitely worth a play. I think I'll play through. I think I'll, I want to play through... I've never played the, through the Let's Go games. I think I want to play through the Let's Go games. So I might get one of the Let's Go... I think I might get Let's Go Eevee for Christmas. So I think this should be the last battle we need to do uh, before heading into Gardenia. Yes, nice. Okay, we can head to Gardenia now. Alrighty. Let's go games can be a bit frustrating at times, but also nice due to simplicity of catching mechanics. I've heard they're very, very different. I've never even seen gameplay of them, to be honest. They just didn't appeal to me at all, but I like Gen 4, uh, Gen 1 a lot, so I might play through them like my, I, they've piqued my interest enough at this point to consider playing through them, I guess. 
Plus, I also need to to be able to get the Mew right. So I'll I'll be doing it at some point just to get a Mew in my other games. Let's go have O World Shinies. That's cool. Righty, I would love to save my adventure so far. Hey, Gardenia, let's go. Oh. You kept me waiting. I'm Eternal Gym Leader, Gardenia, the Grass Type Master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. Hey, Gardenia. Starts with a Cherubi. Cherubi is down. I think Gen 1, Turn 3 suffer a lot from physical special split. Yes, they do. The best... As much as I love gen like playing the games un untampered with, absolutely the best gen type the, the best the most enjoyable times I've played through gens one, two and three have been the times where I've played uh, ROMs that have changed it so that there is a physical special split. Because it's actually it's actually huge how important that is. Ah, she's using the potions on the Turtwig. This is good. We don't want them using the Rosalia. Oh, she used another one. Busted. Nice. I think after this, I'll be playing through the Dreano Hack of Fire Red again. Because um, that was a real challenge. The Dreano hacks are incredible. If you if you have a PC and you can run emulators, try out the Dreano hacks for some of the games that he's uh, some of the older games. They are honestly brilliant. It's not the end yet. Okay, so I am still a little bit scared about this Rose Raid. Level twenty two. It's two levels above us. It's going to outspeed us. I'm pretty sure. Now it's definitely going to outspeed us because it stuns border. I tried Radical Red. Uh, I have not tried Radical Red. I don't think. I don't, no, I, is it was it Fire Red? Yeah, his is called Fire Red Omega. I haven't tried Radical Red. It has Petal Blizzard? Hello, that's disgusting. Okay, this really was not too hard. Excellent. <laughs> Busted. Thanks, Trilby. You're the best. It's a bit like Kaiser Emerald. Yeah, I... So, the only... My only hesitance about it... My only hesitance about Radical Red... I have seen some gameplay of it, is that... I don't... I haven't... Hmm. I'm not sure how much I like them using old uh, new new Pokemon in old games. I'm still not how comfortable I am with it. Not comfortable, but like I'm still not sure how much I can get involved with it. I've seen some gameplay and like there's Mega Evolutions and Dynamaxing and stuff, and it's just kind of I don't know. I'm not sure. But it will be one that I definitely try. Kaizo Emerald is another one I, I want to try. I might have said before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. Oh, I can. I need to clean my badges. With the forest badge, the hidden move cut will be available from your Poketch. Now that you have two gym badges, all Pokemon you receive in trades will obey you up to level 30. There we go. These are a gift from me. Stickers! We can now use the sticker she uses. And TM 
86. And Grass Knot as well. Alrighty. So, I need to look at my team because I think I'd like to get Budgie back in potentially. But I don't know what for. It's probably for one of these flying types, right? I think Splonk is the worst out of all of them in terms of longevity. But is the best in terms of... Uh, I just think... Troby did really well there. Press R. 